the recording? Yeah. Hmm. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So, first of all, we are looking at the um, like market where is the going right now. Okay. So, I have already prepared the Nifty for all of you. Like uh, something different this this time. Uh, we always start with the Nifty. So, uh, why why I prepared uh, before the meeting because it takes time. So, if we see in the weekly weekly chart, this is a weekly chart. Uh, generally, we look the uh, daily chart, but we will look at the daily chart also. But this is the weekly chart. Um, if we start with the starting with the June twenty two, uh, it went up to this uh, high level eighteen sixty uh, eighteen six hundred sixty. Then it uh, gave the correction till point fifty or point six one eight. This is the correction when like it is a Fibonacci retracement, uh, the uh, technical analysis point of view. So it come to the uh, it will come to the point six one eight or point five means fifty percent uh, down or uh, uh, like point thirty two like uh, is generally is thirty thirty two thirty one percent downside. So it will come to point uh, zero point six one eight. So it. Uh, take the base right here and started upward upward journey of uh, from uh, seventeen hundred approximately sixteen hundred uh, sixteen thousand nine fifty to uh, twenty thousand one ninety. Okay, and uh, once again it give like correction, but it give correction till point six one eight only. So it uh, come back to eighteen thousand nine eighty four and started its upward journey till. Uh, like uh, twenty three thousand uh, thirty uh, two thirty something, right? And it was a knee jerk. Like uh, this is the I think the day of election result came out, and the result was not expected as per the market. Uh, so it gave the knee jerk re uh, reaction, and it uh, take the base around the between. Just a second, I admit this person. Yeah, it take base in between 0 0.618 or 0 0.50, right? It in between, not exactly, but in between. Uh, now we currently we are seeing the th fourth uh, bullish uh, trend, and it is also in the between 0.618 and 0.50. Why uh, I was like uh, uh, telling at the time of 25,000, it came, it can came to. It can came to 24,400, 24,000 and uh, 23,700 or 23,800. So this was my the dead time of uh, reading of the chart. But uh, at that time, I can't, I can't present uh, such kind of things in front of you. So now I am uh, presenting that. So still it can come to the 23,810 level. And if, 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 if it goes below this, then uh, uh, if anyone has uh, like, uh, please mute yourself. You can uh, comment on the chat. And uh, uh, if, if uh, anyone has a question, we will take the question in the last. Okay, please. Ha. Huh. So coming back to the chart. So chart is already like uh, like in in the zone of this uh, both level, right? Twenty four four hundred and twenty three eight hundred in between. So. I, in my opinion, it should take the base right now and go uh, toward upward journey. I don't know where it will go in upward journey, but I think now, uh, now the Nifty and the uh, like overall Nifty will give the sideways movement and consolidated movement. Uh, like this cannot be the like uh, repeated in upward journey till 27,000, 28,000 because the earning, because uh, reason is the earning, earning of the corporates. Like uh, Bajaj Auto gives the like very uh, like uh, bad uh, result, and the commentary was like the festive season is not at the at 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 its best. Uh, they are not seeing the festival season uh, like uh, that much uh, as was as it was expected. Uh, the Nestle Nestle has given the 
negative volume growth. So company like Nestle, if the, if, if the company like Nestle give the negative volume, it's it's a bad for our, our economy because uh, Nestle, uh, HUL, every every company is a consumption based story, right? If the uh, rural India is growing or if rural India is spending more, then Nestle, company like Nestle and HUL will grow, right? So uh, whatever we are seeing is the uh, because of the two 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 or three things uh, simultaneously. If uh, one is one is earning, uh, second is uh, uh, like uh, geopolitical uh, global war and uh, everything. Uh, what uh, whatever is going on, third is China's growing growth story. Like uh, if if China, like uh, FIA has sold uh, like more than one lakh crore in the October till twenty seven. Right now we are in. Uh, uh, we are talking on the 27th of October, uh, like almost approximately FIA sold uh, approximately of 1 lakh crore in the October month only. So uh, if we see uh, in an overall basis, the Nifty's correction is uh, due to all of this reason. We don't know the exact reason, but Nifty selling is due to all of this reason, right? So uh, I think uh, le let's uh, see the... Um, So this also like, let's come to the daily chart now. So huh, this is the nifty, I mean, sorry, mid cap chart. So almost they have corrected like heavily. If, if we see in the uh, measurement terms. So like almost uh, more than like 9.25% uh, 9 in closing basis. And if we see in uh, like intraday basis total, so almost like just a second. Like almost 10 percentage, right? Hmm. So uh, it's a huge, like huge correction, not a crash, not a beer market. If anything is beyond 20 percentage, uh, we can say it's beer market. But I don't see as a beer market right now. It's a healthy correction, much needed correction as the Indian market was overvalued as compared to other uh, globe, uh, global world, uh, global world's market. So I think it's a healthy correction. And if you see the chart of the Nifty in uh, like uh, uh, which we showed previously, so it's a healthy correction. It's much needed correction. If uh, anyone has a like uh, like uh, in believe in the market and believe in his uh, system, they can definitely put the money in the market. Like uh, as we I said in the uh, uh, in the group also, I I I. I I like invested approximately 30 to 40 percentage of my case. Uh, what uh, I uh, like parked for mutual, uh, mutual fund, I already invested. I still have a 60 percentage of money uh, in case uh, with me uh, to invest more around 23,800. So yeah, I will invest, but I will not invest uh, like uh, all 60 percentage. I will still uh, invest 20 percentage and whenever it gives upward journey, I will then invest more like it, this is my system. So now coming back to our uh, coming, uh, we are moving toward the next agenda of our meeting. That is Divis Laboratory, a core portfolio stock. Uh, I will take the, uh, okay. Uh, sound is clear right now. Please message. If sound is clear, then we we should go. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Yes, I already opened the uh, a word file. Uh, everyone can see this. Divis Laboratory word file. Yes. Okay, thank you. So I prepared this uh, word file on the base of uh, like the market price and everything is uh, as on as on the closing basis of twenty fifth October. So uh, uh, first of all, the disclaimer: I have this company since from the twenty twenty. 
uh, I am bullish on this company. Uh, so my views can be biased. My views can be wrong. My views can be right. So uh, take the uh, uh, risk factor of, of my disclaimer, right? So starting uh, with the like presentation. So about this company, the Divis Laboratory is the leading Indian CDMO. Like CDMO means contract development and manufacturing organization. Generally, what, what they do, they do the manufacturing formulations of medicines of different of other companies. Like, uh, like if we see the uh, like uh, uh, Sun Pharma, Lupin, every 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 company has a like uh, every company gives uh, formulation and manufacturing to third party like uh, companies like Divis Laboratory. If you see in any medicine, you will not see the Divis Laboratory's mark that uh, they have like a sales team and everybody. They don't sell it. Uh, they uh, manufacture the uh, medicines for different companies like uh, Sun Pharma and Lupin and, and whatnot, right? So uh, their 45.8 percentage revenue comes from the generic API. What is the generic API? So, uh, uh, like generic API is like kind of a farm, uh, paracetamol. So, it is a generic API, <laughs> active pharma ingredients, right? So, it's kind of a paracetamol and, uh, and many other uh, API. They manufacture in it and producing over 32 products with the leadership in 10 of them. So, they are the leader in the 10 of the generic API uh, manufacturing, right? So, <laughs> The uh, like fifty percent, almost fifty percent uh, revenue comes from the generic generic API. Uh, Forty five point uh, eight percent to be specific, right? So next is custom synthesis. And what is custom synthesis? The custom synthesis is uh, if some if company gives the specific uh, like details uh, toward the um, uh, modules or a generic uh, generic any any uh, customized. They, I, the company wants this kind of uh, ingredient, company uh, wants this kind of uh, formulations. When it comes to the generic API, it, it is a, a general for all of the, all the, uh, like all the companies. But when the, it is custom synthesis, it is a custom synthesis, only 40, like uh, they give the specific details and uh, company uh, pre uh, prepare and um, uh, create, I mean, manufacture the, uh, for that company only. So they are uh, uh, taking uh, gaining forty six percentage of revenue from that side. Like if we calculate both of them, the almost ninety two percent is revenue from the two segments, right? And the eight percentage from nutraceutical ingredient. And uh, if we I have highlighted one point. Just a second. Ha. Total capacity of nutraceutical ingredient is fourteen thousand six hundred kilograms, and they are planning to new facility in. Uh, Kakinada. So they will increase the capacity. So what, uh, whatever we look at the uh, Rocking Ranjita story, uh, we see the how to increase revenue. Whenever we want to increase the revenue, we should increase the capacity and we should increase the sales market, like overall market. So they are uh, trying to increase the share of nutraceutical ingredients, like in, in generally nutraceutical ingredients, uh, they are like uh, preparing and manufacturing vitamins and uh, estanithin, uh, leukopenia and uh, lutein. Uh, everything is like uh, generally uh, like food supplement kind of things in this uh, segment. So they are in. Uh, they are trying to increase the capacity in the their third uh, st uh, st I mean third uh, revenue stream. So what is the mega tailwind? So increasing outsourcing penetration. Pref a preference of India due to some like uh, China plus story. Uh, we have seen the like in COVID uh, COVID scenario. Uh, everyone wants to uh, everyone wants to uh, don't want to uh, sorry don't want to depend on the China because China is the number one uh, like uh, China was the number one uh, in the API market and intermediaries uh, before the COVID. So everyone wants to uh, some uh, other source also. So China plus one story is beneficial for Davis Laboratory. US biosecure rate. Now, what is the price volume action? 
So price value medicine is basic, uh, basically a technical perspective. We will see in the uh, last uh, competitive advantage. So uh, having a high quality manufacturing processes. So uh, whenever the we uh, talk about the pharma companies, uh, generally FDA like uh, Food and uh, uh, Drugs uh, Administration of USA, US FDA. They come and inspect the facility of the company and they give the inspection and outcome of it. Uh, and generally, the they, they will give some adverse uh, comments or what, uh, what not. Like, so only one instance where the adverse outcome was there in FDA inspection. So it's, it shows that company has a high quality manufacturing processes. Uh, in the in the like, they have like good internal uh, controls and everything leading supplier of api in intermediaries now high roce if we see the company has a good uh, roce like return on capital uh, employed means uh, capital in, uh, capital employed includes equity uh, and debt both right so whatever they take the money from the uh, their owners and in the uh, like in debts banks and all so uh, whatever the return generated in both the debt capital, it's a ROCE. So it is a, like good ROCE in uh, from FY15 to FY22. But what uh, happened in 23 and 24? Because uh, there was a COVID scenario in 22. So uh, ROCE increased. But after COVID, uh, like uh, the, they are like uh, manufacturing more COVID, uh, like COVID related uh, uh medicines and uh in fy 23 and 24 the uh, there was a no covid like zero covid or minimum covid uh, uh scenario so their roc went down and they are uh, trying to uh, increase the capacity so whenever if any company is trying to increase capacity the expense teacher will be there but no revenue for that increasing capacity right so roc come down but in my opinion, the ROC will start uh, increase from FY25 and uh, uh, till like it can uh, like uh, increase till uh, like 30, 35 percentage. It can go to 30 percentage in conservative visit, but it can go to more than 30 percent also. Right. And they are uh, improving the their uh, bottlenecks and uh, um, brownfield ex expansion. Uh, backward integration. Backward integration means if a company is uh, preparing something and if they need some uh, something uh, raw material from uh, like outsourcing, they try to produce, they try to manufacturing that ingredient in, in house. So it is a backward integration. So what are they doing? They, they are doing something multi uh, year growth uh, projecting and uh, uh, like they are coming coming into the new uh, like businesses also like uh, preparing for the new machineries and uh, something like that. So execution the execution part is the best thing in the this company. So they are doing a capacity increase uh, like every like um, two three years they try to increase their capacity and companies management is very focused on the execution and the increasing capacity and utilizing the uh, existing capacity. So coming back to the fundamental summary financials, right? Everything is uh, taken from the, uh, like any uh, data is taken from the screener dot in. So uh, just a disclaimer from my side, I like, so uh, revenue, so revenue is constantly increasing, right? Like. If we see till FY22, it was a COVID year and due to this, they like uh, uh, preparing COVID related uh, medicine. So revenue increased. Uh, as I said, FY23 and 24, no COVID was there. So they have to shift their uh, uh, like focus from the COVID to uh, non-COVID uh, medicines. So due to this, their growth was, see, growth was down by 13 percentage. And from 23 to 24, it was one percentage growth. So market reacted negatively. We will see in a technical perspective uh, how to see the uh, fundamentals and technical in both uh, combined. So yeah, uh, coming to the EBITDA margin, EBITDA margin, 38 percent, 34, 41, 43, highest in COVID area, COVID uh, year, right? 
and then suddenly decrease to 31 and 21 28 sorry so every everything we can see in a technical and fundamental also in in my opinion uh, once again they will start ebitda margin uh, till like at least 35 percentage in conservative and they can go up to the 38 39 also I will share the presentation to all of you uh, who, uh, uh, whomsoever want to uh, like want to take this presentation. I will uh, share in a personal message. So don't worry. What can be the risk? First of all, we should see the risk also. Higher concentration of the top five product. Like they have a top like higher concentration of top five product. Their revenue is mainly from the their generic API segment. Higher dependency on that. If anything uh, negative on that side, it can like risk for this company. Lack of presence in growing bio uh, biogenetics market also remain a substantial limitation to the DVS CDMO portfolio. Regulatory risks. All, all I all, I said that US FDA will be the regulatory risk. They will come and inspect the facility every three years. So there can be a risk, but. As I said, their uh, like internal uh, controls and the quality of management is very good. Quality of manufacturing facility is very good. So I think this is the risk, but they are dealing with it very well, right? Now technical. So this is the monthly chart, and we can see this before twenty three come market starting uh, re reacting negatively. So before fundamentals started, the technical has started its mind that we want to sell because the company will not grow as we are expecting, right? But from starting this level, like 24, they know company has increasing capacity, companies, company is doing very well. The market is uh, like scenario for the market of the generic API and the syn uh, custom synthesis are increasing. Uh, tailwinds are there. So market starting, giving a thumbs up and started, started his upward journey. So if we look at this, 5200 uh, 5, level was the crucial level for this company. And it has, <coughs> sorry, it has strongly uh, like uh, broke the level and uh, sustaining the above this level. So in my opinion, I have, I already added uh, like, uh, like last week or last to last week and I will still add, add, add uh, whenever it will uh, make new 52 week high like this month if see if we see the high is up above level like 50 62,070 uh, sorry 6,276 rupees to be very like specific. Hmm. 60, uh, 6276 right so whenever it will cross this level and uh, uh, give the close below ab uh, above this sorry give the close above this level i will buy so uh, what are the targets my target is double but when it will take 3 to 4 years to get double so this is my core portfolio stocks i already investing it investing in it so this is my core portfolio stock uh, this was the presentation for the DVS laboratory. Now we will uh, come to the like uh, queries of the uh, result uh, review. Uh, the form was already said by me in, like uh, three days ago. So we will start start that. Okay. Yes. So first of all, Darsil Raichuria. Okay. Suryoday and VPRPL. So VPRPL result is not yet out. So I cannot give the any result review. So uh, we will take Suryoday. So if we see Suryoday, it's a small finance bank. First of all, let me give the industry overview. So uh, RBI also concerned over the microfinancing. Uh, related NPA issue because 
they are saying that the NPA will increase in microfinancing because and nowadays uh, we can see that uh, small finance bank is giving a 30000 60000 1 lakh rupees loan without any proofs and i mean without any uh, collateral securities right so uh, i think there will be an npa issue in this company if we see a gross npa jo it, it was like a high in covid area area right 10% 10% and it went down till 2.9 and 2.84 percentage in June 24. So uh, once again, it started upward journey. If we see net NPA, it's like almost double, 0.47 percent to 0.80 percentage. So what uh, what is the main issue in the Suryo there? I am personally holding this company. I I started investing it in 170 rupees uh, zone. I knew that uh, the company like uh, the September result will be the like kind of sluggish or negative, but it was very negative. It is very negative. What I am doing, I am not selling right now. I am analyzing the, like still I am, I will deep dive into this company. I will try to uh, like uh, watch the commentary. Like I was there in the conference call, but uh, I can't hear properly. So I will still read the conference call notes and I will uh, take, I will, I, I will give my review on this. Currently, I'm holding this company. Will I add more? I don't know. I will uh, see, uh, look into the company and I will tell afterwards. Okay. So next, Supreme Power from Subhash, sir. Okay, Supreme Power. Yes. <coughs> I can't find the screenshot from the screener. So I take the directly from the management. So if we see revenue, revenue was down. Uh, little bit right uh, if you uh, compare from the last quarter uh, this is a half yearly actually so if you compare from the last year half year uh, uh, completed on 30 September so it is a, a very much good uh, increase right so uh, good uh, result just a second yeah but uh, if you see if we see the EPS EPS is down EPS is down profit uh, before extraordinary profit uh, before tax. Like it is slight increase. So like I am not tracking this company. So right now I don't have any comment on this. I will not comment much more in this. But yeah, uh, looking like a good company. Uh, I will uh, we, I will look at the company will in deep dive. I will deep dive in this company and will uh, tell you personally. Okay. So next uh, uh, urban, I don't know what the company name is urban, so I didn't take it. Uh, next is from Celes G. Okay, so uh, Polycab. I think every uh, Polycab, uh, uh, Havels, RR Cavels, like every company has given the like bed, it was a bed quarter from them side. If we see the operating profit margin, like it was in the peak, it was 14 percentage, now it is 11 percentage. Uh, like uh, still EPS was good, very good in my opinion, but the operating profit margin was down uh, in my opinion. So it, it is a concerned area. So uh, I think uh, uh, so other income is increasing. Why? I don't know, but other income is increasing, which is not good sign. Generally, we what we see, uh, it should be a core business, what should grow. Right. So uh, the, uh, due to other income, the EPS is increased. Still a good company, uh, just uh, one or two quarters where uh, the margin, I mean, operating profit margin was down. But I don't see any like uh, very negative thing for this uh, sector. So I think good company, good to hold. Crystal Integrate. Uh, integrate. Okay. Huh? Crystal Integrate. Uh, not much uh, details about this company. I try to read. Uh, operating profit margin is stable, seven percentage. Profit is like staggered. I mean, sorry, continuous basis and common profit like EPS is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Everything is 10, right? So, uh, I mean, I don't know about this company uh, much more, but 
like it look like a, a stable company not growing not uh, like uh, downside not upside anything but stable company uh, i will deep dive into this company and will uh, share you in the personal um, no bad news no good news like this company kpit tech iman patel okay hmm kpit tech operating profit margin is good 20% uh, revenue is growing um, operating profit is growing profit before tax is growing tax percentage is up it just because of the like um, uh, sometimes the book profit and the income tax related profit is different so tax uh, tax percentage can go up uh, don't uh, look at that much uh, sometimes it happens so net profit was down because of tax profit was increased tax was increased so i think a uh, good set of numbers uh, no very like it is not a great a great number it is a, a okay number so uh, keep holding it i think one or two quarter uh, we should uh, keep it and if anything is negative i will tell uh, right now no negative evels and polycap same same uh, issue uh, i think vishal ji has uh, asked for the review evels and polycap both are like same kind of uh, company so this is the evel so same issue right 8 8 percentage operating profit margin the margin was down but eps has very down if you see eps eps was very down because the revenue was down so in if we look at the polycap and havels i will prefer polycap because the revenue is not down in polycap operating profit margin was down but revenue was not down so i think polycap is more better in uh, in terms of comparison to havels and polycap IDFC First Bank. IDFC First Bank. I think the yesterday only result was came. I think yesterday or day before yesterday. So, uh, what was the main uh, uh, issue in the company? Uh, provisioning. They have to give the more provisioning into the company. First of all, disclaimer. I have this company in my portfolio since uh, Corona area, like Corona period. Uh, I started investing in this company in the like nineteen uh, rupees uh, zone. I, try, I i have started the accumulated uh, accumulating it from like uh, march 2020 or i mean april 2020 and like i have a good portfolio in my like i have a good percentage of a company uh, in my portfolio so that is a disclaimer from my side um slightly negative result slightly negative result this quarter but i will i sell no i will not sell will i buy i don't know i will still in a, not in a mood to buy this company because already is good uh, position of this company in my portfolio so i will not buy rightly because it is not a, in upward journey uh, related to revenue operating pro, i mean uh, net interest margin and uh, eps so i will not buy right now rr kabel same issue ntpc indescent bank very bad results tata motors result is not yet out infosys infosys is good result i will not take the result right now because only 1 minute is left or oh, sorry 4 minute is left so uh, i will uh, open for the general query if anyone has uh, if anyone want to look at this company i will like uh, you can call me around uh, monday or uh, tuesday around uh, 6 to 7 between i will be available tomorrow and the day after tomorrow so uh, whomsoever want to call me they can call uh, just put your message before the calling me uh, if i will be available i will definitely uh, happy to uh, connect with you okay so last 3 minutes any one has any query please ask first of all uh, just for uh, like uh, uh, one gratitude gratitude from my side right now uh, in our meeting uh, uh, one uh, one of my sir uh, from om vidyamandir is there with our meeting 
who taught me a first am nond uh, in gujarati we say am nond uh, like jur- journal entries in english so who taught me a first am nond of my life in the class of 11th so gratitude from my side sir uh, thank you for joining the meeting uh, uh, if you uh, would you like to any like give a comment or uh, anything uh, please unmute yourself and uh, and uh, and accept my thanks from my side anyone query shailesh ji shraddha chaitanya ji so only 2 minutes are left so that's why i'm asking for any general queries if if anyone has i will like if whatever i can i will give the review i think uh, no one has query so i think we should uh, complete this session today i will share the link of the recording uh, in evening and uh, i think we are not going to meet uh, next uh, sunday we will uh, i think we will meet on the next to next sunday which is around uh, 10th of uh, november i think yes 10th of november we will meet on that day uh, last uh, next sunday is like uh, around diwali area i think bhai bij is there on the 3rd of november so we will not meet on that day uh some uh, personal commitments are there on that day so we will uh, conduct next meeting on 10th of november uh, uh, till then like uh, market is good market is not that much bad i think this correction was needed this correction was due and uh, i think uh, 23700 will be will, will be uh, 23700 23800 will be the good base for the market let's see uh, i hope it it don't violate that uh, zone and uh, bounce back from that uh, area but i don't see like it will be as a v shape recovery i don't see this i i i i hope it will give uh, bounce back till 24500 25000 and consolidate at that area i i like whatever the limited knowledge i have i am hoping for that uh, and i see that uh, it it will be like that so let's uh, and uh, yeah just 